Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 16th of April. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather pretty quiet again tomorrow. A few showers early Saturday, then a chance of severe storms on Sunday for the second week in a row. Let's check it out. There's the upper air look across the country this afternoon. Got a zonal flow troughing to the north and a really dry air mass. I mean, not a cloud in the sky within hundreds of miles. Just beautiful. Temperatures still below average, but warming up nicely after a frosty start this morning. Birmingham at 68, Tuscaloosa 70. There's the watch warning map. Winter storm warnings for parts of Illinois, Iowa, Missouri, Nebraska, Wyoming, and Colorado. Freeze warnings in effect. Not too far from Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Got a small marginal risk of severe weather through tonight for parts of the heartland. Tomorrow, we're in the green and with a cold front coming through, there might be a clap of thunder early Saturday morning. This outlook runs through 7 a.m. Saturday, but no severe weather expected. During the day Saturday, got a marginal risk of severe storms west of here from near Greenville, Mississippi, down to Austin, Texas. And Sunday, day four, a risk of severe storms all the way from East Texas to South Carolina, an enhanced 30% risk over the southern half of Alabama, Mississippi, and we'll talk about this setup here in just a minute. Here's the rain for the next seven days, the wettest weather in the country right here. Rain amounts around three inches for much of the state between now and Thursday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run ballot tomorrow afternoon at 4. Pretty much the same setup, troughing to the north, a zonal flow, and a dry air mass. Should be a nice day tomorrow. We'll forecast a good supply of sunshine. The warming trend continues, highs in the middle 70s. Now, Saturday morning, early, this is 6 o'clock Saturday morning, a cold front comes in with a band of showers. And again, there might be a clap of thunder here, but there's no chance of any severe weather. Rain amounts will likely be light. And then during the day Saturday, the sky becomes sunny with a high close to 70. So most of you will probably sleep through that early batch of showers Saturday morning. But then Sunday, we have a surface low near Shreveport, and that front lifts northward as a warm front. And lifting will result in rain and thunderstorms. This is Sunday night at 10 o'clock, the surface low near Clanton. Remember, your main chance of severe weather will be along and south of the track of the surface low. We'll check the European at the same time. This is 10 o'clock Sunday night. It's got the surface low closer to Fort Payne up in northeast Alabama. So let's look at the NAM, the 12-kilometer NAM. It's got the instability values really surging. This is Sunday evening at 7 o'clock, showing CAPE values in excess of 2,000 joules as far north as Tuscaloosa, Birmingham. Surface dew point surge as well. We still got the wedge up in northeast Alabama, but dew points are in the upper 60s, and that's certainly ripe for severe weather. And this is a forecast sounding. I picked Sumter County as a point of reference here. Again, showing potential for the threat of really all modes of severe weather. And note the possible hazard type PDS tornado here. Not saying this will be as bad as last Sunday, but still the conditions are there. So, again, the bottom line is we'll have the chance of strong to severe storms, mainly Sunday afternoon and Sunday night over the southern two-thirds of the state. And for now, it looks like all modes of severe weather will be possible, including a chance of large hail, damaging wind, possibly a few tornadoes. And, of course, as we get closer to Sunday, each day will be much more sp specific. I'd say the main window uh, 3 p.m. to 3 a.m., 3 p.m. Sunday to 3 a.m. Monday. And during the day Monday, dry air returns. The sky becomes partly sunny. The high will be in the low 70s. Tuesday, we're dry. Upper 70s are likely. And here comes our next system. This is Wednesday of next week, surface low north of Dallas-Fort Worth. And a week from today, Thursday the 23rd, troughing passing by to the north. Got a surface low near Indianapolis, and uh, storms probably winding down. The GFS depicting the main batch of storms with this would be Wednesday night and Thursday morning. But the European is slower. This is noon, or I'm sorry, 1 o'clock on Thursday afternoon, a surface low near Huntsville. And that would pose a risk of severe storms for areas south of that. 
But needless to say, we're not going to focus on this event middle of next week until we get past the event on Sunday. But just be aware the potential is there. This is the instability values coming off the European showing unstable air in place Thursday of next week. Let's go out 10 days, Sunday, April 26th. Ooh, look at the trough. And that looks cool and dry if this verifies. Here's a rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble, the mean between 3 and 4 inches for the next 15 days. Temperatures up in the low 80s in about a week or so. And the new CPC outlook, April 24th through April 30th, suggesting temperatures here will be above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. AS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.